Hi, I'm Heidi Quer. Today I want to share with you an artist manager review. The manager I chose for this review is Lou Parkman. He is from New York and he doesn't have a background in the music industry. When he was in college, his business plan was about building a taxi service in New York. Something that, uh, n not an actual car, but helicopter services or something like that. So when he graduated, uh, he decided that that was what he wanted to do. So he started the helicopter and aircraft services, and he gave trips, different trips, to people in the media industry. After that, he became a really wealthy man, so he moved to Orlando, Florida, and he decided to start a business uh, in the music business. <laughs> Let's say that. So he started the company Transcontinental Records. He saw what the Massachusetts group was doing, that they were making millions. There was just five guys dancing and singing. So he liked that idea and he said, this is making really good money. So he started the group, the Baxter's Boys. After he started this group, uh, they started touring and making albums and everything. These four albums here were the albums he built with them. He recorded with them as a manager. And also the Ansick. Ansick did these three albums with him as well. So there are three things important about this artist. Sorry, about this manager. This manager treated treated the, the band, all the boys, as part of his family. This, imp this is important because he's given like a chance for a new life for those kids that they didn't have before. So it was really good for, for the kids and for the manager to have that kind of relationship. Also, he believed in them. Because he believed in them, they, like, they went to different countries, they made tours and everything because he could, he could sell what was the group about, each of the groups about. Also, the artists, let's say each of the members of the band, they believe in, in, in the manager, in Lou. So these three things here were really important for this relationship. With, between him and the Backstreet Boys and NSYNC and all the other bands that actually came after those two. So I have to watch this um, this documentary that the Backstreet Boys did, did to understand better the relationship between the manager and the artist in this case. That is Lou Perkman. So what I can conclude about this, what I can take for me as a manager, is that trust is the base of the artist-manager relationship. Without trust, there is anything. So, and also, uh, we as a manager must believe in our artists. If we don't believe, uh, there, will, there will be no future for that relationship and for that group or that artist or for me as a manager, let's say that. So, talking about trust, when the trust is broken, problems start appear. Like in this case, the Baxter's Boys, at the end, like in 2007, they sued Lou Parkman because they didn't agree in something he was doing with them. So, that's the problem with trust. So, this is the most important thing I can take from this manager. And now... I can tell you thank you for watching this and I leave you with the references where everything with every single detail in this podcast came from. Thank you once again. This is Heidi Cuero. Bye-bye.